Okay, so update time. Uh, today I am officially uh, 13 weeks and two days. Yeah, it's been a busy week. Um, I had some bleeding, serious, serious bleeding Sunday. They led me to the emergency room. Um, I don't know what happened. I have not been having sex um, since the last time I went down to the emergency room just because... Uh, I don't know. I don't want to like disrupt anything. I know that's silly because technically you can't really, you know, disrupt anything. But just to be on the safe side, um, FOB is cut off for a little bit. Um, he's a grown man. He knows how to take care of himself. So he should be okay with that. Um, but yeah, I went to the bathroom and a lot of blood came out. Um, kind of freaked me out. Kind of did freak me out. Ran into the emergency room. Um, and got seen pretty pretty quickly, guys. If you are having bleeding, I'm not saying uh, lie, but tweak it up a little bit so you can get in there and out there. I went there at about 2. I got seen at 2.15. I was out by 3. Um, I don't know if it was the bleeding, because last time I was bleeding, they did keep me down there longer, like 5 hours longer. But uh, I think this time, because of the amount of blood I had lost... Um, they figure they better step their game up a little bit, which was a good thing because I did not want to be down there all day. And you guys know, baby was created at home. And if anything happens, I want baby to uh, peacefully go at home. I don't want to be sitting up in the emergency room waiting for that to happen. So I went in. I was on my second pad. Um, and uh, they did an ultrasound. And the ultrasound showed that the baby's heartbeat was there. Um, it was a little bit lower than last time. So it was at uh, 164. 164 this time. Um, last time I went it was 174. So it's dropped a little bit, but I think it's normalizing. They It kind of uh, normalizes, I think, when you're entering your second trimester, which... I am very grateful I made 13 weeks uh, officially marked. Well, it depends on some calendars. Um, they say 13 and a half weeks makes the second trimester. I'm not going all into the mathematical dividing each, you know, by three, the 40 weeks by three or whatever. Um, I checked on one website, said, congratulations, you are officially thir uh, in the second trimester. That's what I'm sticking with. Um, so, yeah, everything's okay. We don't know where the bleeding is coming from. Which is creepy um, and disturbing, but my cervix is closed, which is a good thing. Uh, the heart rate is still there, which is uh, obviously a great thing. Um, I am still getting some mush. It's not, I did pass a liver sized clot yesterday. It looked like the size of an egg. Um, but like liver, I, I don't know if you, if there's any. If you've had liver, you know, my mom was from down south and we used to have liver and gravy and fried onions and all that stuff all the time. And it looked exactly like the consistency of liver. Um, and I did pass that, which was freaky. But after that, I stopped bleeding. And now what I'm noticing is there is a lot of uh, rust mush around my cervix. So if you went up there to do an internal exam and you just kind of swept your finger around your around your cervix you'd probably get a lot of yuckiness with me um normally if i was not pregnant i would like clear that out but my doctor has advised me over the phone not to do anything and to leave it as is until i come in um which he can't get me in until thursday because you got to love the doctor's office. You know, you say something like this and they're not like, oh, yeah, come in today. They're like, oh, yeah, it's fine. We'll see you Thursday. So, you know, I'm still feeling the baby kick. Um, and move. Well, it's not really kicking right now. It's just like involuntary jerks, I guess. Um, baby's too young to be like noticeably trying to kick me, but it is involuntary. Um muscle spasms or whatever because the baby's developing um but i am feeling the movement which is a good thing so i'm not too worried my cervix is closed which is a good thing um 
And he wants me to be on bed rest. Um, I am taking it easy. I am not going to take the official diagnosis of bed rest at this point because obviously I have responsibilities and everything like that. Uh, excuse me, this thing is trying to climb up somewhere. Where are you going? All right. So that is Sebastian. Yes, I have a pet rat. Um, it was not supposed to be a pet rat, but, uh, you know, no one, none of the, none of he, he, he got saved. <laughs> he got saved. He got saved. Uh, it was, he was supposed to be snake food and, uh, no one was hungry. So, um, he ended up as a pet <laughs> and he's a good pet. He's a good pet. I mean, if you're going to get your kid a pet, uh, and you're thinking about small animals, do a rat. Uh, I've always had them as pets and not like, you know, New York City. Oh my God, there's a rat in the living room. That's my pet. No, kind of like you go to the pet store, you get a cute, fancy rat. You name them, you call them George or something. You train them, that type of thing. Um, they're great pets. That He doesn't bite, you know. He scares a few people when they come over. He's out because he has access to the house and he runs all over and he uses the litter box and he's a well-trained rodent, but, um, yeah, he does, he does freak out people. My mom won't even come in. She's just like, where's Sebastian? I'm like, oh, he's upstairs. Or if he's not upstairs, and I'll be like, all right, let me call him and put him in his cage. So yeah, he's, he's a well-trained, very vibrant, excitable rat. I don't know for him to be so old. He is just all over the place, guys, all over the place. So that's why I am with the pregnancy. Um, great news. I know what the sex of the baby is. You want to know? Huh? Do you want to know? Do you think it's a girl? Or do you think it's a boy? What do you think? Do you think he's going to be wearing this? Or she's going to be wearing this? Cute Hello Kitty thing that I made? Or Will he be walking around in this? I got another one for you. And then I'm going to tell you. Will we be sporting this pretty cute little binky? Or will we be using this? What do you guys think? I can tell you what my heart says. I can tell you what the Chinese calendar says. The Chinese uh, gender prediction calendar said boy. Uh, mom said boy. I was thinking boy. Girl stop girl. Son wants a boy. FOB wants a boy. His daughters think it's a girl. Are you ready to find out what the sex of mouse is? Dum dum dum. Dum 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 dum. Dum 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 dum. 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 My baby will not be wearing this. No, Mouse will be happily wearing baby blue. Yes, Mouse is a little boy. Handsome, handsome, little, hopefully handsome little baby boy. <laughs> so, yeah, so all those um, wives tales. Actually, one was right when it said, is your uh, my right boob bigger than the left? Uh, that was right because my right boob is bigger than the left one. Um... The baby does bounce and doesn't swirl, so that was right for me for the bouncing baby boy. Did not do the ring thing that you do over your belly. Didn't do that one. Um, am craving and have been craving a lot of salty foods. I know I did that video with the ice cream. I've had ice cream twice since I've been pregnant. The rest of it has been um, bagel chips that I've made myself because I want to... Uh, I want to control the amount of salt and garlic in my bagel chips. So I make my own bagel chips. <laughs> um, a lot of bagel chips, a lot of pretzels, a lot of popcorn for breakfast. I even had some popcorn cereal. That sounds gross. It is kind of, it sounds kind of yucky. It's basically popcorn and milk with a little bit of sugar mixed in a bowl. Yeah, uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, I don't know if anyone wants to try that. Uh, but it is good. <laughs> Try to get the ones without the kernels if you can. But yeah, I was I was munching on that this morning. 
daughter's like, oh my God, you're pregnant. That's disgusting. And then earlier during this week, I had popcorn and I had spaghetti sauce. But, uh, you know, it's, it's food. And I've been wanting popcorn. I don't know if it's the salty taste to get out of that. Because um, I still have that funky metallic taste in the back of my mouth. And I'm trying so hard to get rid of it. Um, if that's what it is or what, but, uh, just say hi for God's sakes and then leave. Just, he's like nosy and then he just, he doesn't, he doesn't know what he wants to do. It's like he's got ADHD or something for a rat. He's just all over the place. It's like, I want to say hi. No, I don't. I want to say hi. Okay. Touch me and then leave me alone. Yeah. Yeah. He's all over the place. So yeah, that's what I've been, that's what I've been craving. Uh, forcing myself to still do my prenatals and everything else like that. Um, that's been a little tough because I haven't been in the mood to do anything. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah, that's where, that's where we're at. We're having a little boy guys. Give me some names because I had my heart set on that girl, man. I had a beautiful name for her and it's not that, you know, it's never going to happen. I, I'm pretty, I'm 90% sure this is going to be it. <laughs> Four kids is enough for me. Um, but, uh, I had the cutest little girl names out. So now it's just like, huh, plan B <laughs> and not the birth control. <laughs> so, so far for boy names, um, we've come up with Lincoln. I really like Lincoln. I really love the name William. Um, my old man is not getting a junior. I think we've already discussed that. Uh, and, and I'm thinking, oh, it's going to be a boy. He's really going to fight me on this last name thing. But I'm pretty adamant on baby still keeping my maiden name. So, yeah, that's going to be fun. I'm like, yeah, that's the first thing that popped in my head. I'm like, oh, he's really going to try to fight me on this. Because I know this is his first son. He's going to want to... Uh, Daniel Jr. and he's got this long Polish Russian last name and I'm just like yeah that's that's not um that's not feasible yeah that's not going to work for me I don't even want it hyphenated so we're we're going to have to have that conversation hopefully not but you know we'll see but yeah so far at the top of my top fives uh I don't even think I have five names I think we only picked out two <laughs> but I knew it was a boy so I don't know why I didn't come up with a longer list um but I just was pretty much dead set on having like a girl name and then that was just like it like oh this is the girl and then this is going to be the name and then everything's going to be perfect and pink and then that's it. So now it's just like huh let me let me go ahead and get my get my little notebook. <laughs> but uh Lincoln and William so far is at the top of the list. Uh I forgot. I think Dylan came up with one of my girls um so I guess I can stop like psyching myself up like when I go into the baby section and looking at the cute little pink little tutus because that's not going to happen. <laughs> I'm not putting my son in a tutu. Um, but yeah, I guess I guess it's closure. You know, I guess that's what it is. It's closure and it's preparing and there's plenty of cute boy things out there. And this one is going to be a fantastic soccer ball player, hopefully, or something as long as he's happy I guess but uh yeah I'm gearing for soccer ball classes that's going to be the sport of choice even though I am a football fanatic I am not going to have my son do that because it's a dangerous sport so he's going to be doing the other football which is soccer we'll be doing him in the little leagues as soon as possible like I think they start off at like five or four or something so a lot of plans, a lot of plans. Hopefully if the, you know, the pregnancy turns out to be viable. I think right now I'm classified as a threatened miscarriage. Um, but I guess as long as I'm feeling mouse um, move around and everything, I'm good. You know, I'm feeling him move around. He's moving. He's kicking. Stop giving me kisses. Yes, I love you too. Um, so everything's all good. Yeah. <laughs> So we're all happy. Um, and I wanted to say thank you to everyone that has been supporting me and subscribing and <laughs> and all that great stuff. Oh, yeah. Also, someone wanted to know why I named Mouse Mouse. Um, I did email that person back or answer that. But I'm going to tell everyone um, why I thought the situation, why I came up with the name Mouse. Um, 
my, my mice are very um clean very adaptable uh very creative very elusive animals um they're beautiful creatures to have the privilege of owning or to watch in their own environment um, I know they have gotten a bad rap with the, uh, you know, Black Plague and everything else like that. But they are very, very humble creatures and extremely curious. Um, and because this pregnancy has taken me so long to get, the first thing I thought about was having one of my escape mice. Because I've had mice before. I used to breed fancy mice. Um, and one of those lovely little creatures getting out. And it is very hard to humanely catch them. Now, if you throw a mouse trap down, you can probably catch them in a heartbeat. But to to humanely catch them is very hard. And it's 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 they are very 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 creative and thrifty and fast and just yeah, you gotta be on your toes when a mouse escapes in your house. And that was the first thing I thought about this pregnancy was how long it's taken me, how elusive it's been. Um, but how strong and resilient that this child has made it through so far with the bleeding um, and the the low egg count and, and all that other great stuff. It just, for me, it was, um, you know, obviously when the child gets older, he'll come up with his own dream animal. But this was a dream animal. Yes, I said dream animal. This is a dream animal that I am incorporating in his surroundings and it's just I feel a connection with mouse um and I'm hoping this child does too so yeah and probably that's probably going to be his first pet I don't know if I'm going to get him a mouse or rat probably a rat because rats are, are more tameable mice are a little bit more free-spirited um rats are a lot more tame and they don't bite contrary to what some people think they're just horrible animals they're beautiful animals Beautiful, beautiful animals. So yeah, that's why I came up with the name Mouse, and it fit this. It fit the situation. It fit me. It sounded right. It felt right. Um, I love the name. I love um, what it symbolizes. And you know, they are lucky creatures. You know, don't think that they're not. <laughs> they're just because they're rodents and part of the marsupial family. They are very lucky creatures to have. So yes, that is why I named Mouse Mouse. And uh, that is my connection to the word and to the creature and to the animal world. Um, out of all the animals, I did like that, like that one the best for this child. So to answer any more questions, hopefully that answered it for you. <laughs> that was my reason behind naming Mouse Mouse. Um, and now he will be Mr. Mouse <laughs> and not Mickey Mouse. Don't get me confused with Disney. Disney is a great production. I've never really been a Disney person. Um, but it's for me, I've always liked Danger Mouse and, you know, Speedy Gonzalez and the Little Mice and Cinderella. Um, really not Mickey Mouse. I don't know. For some reason, he and then Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, those two, those, those, those creations of mice always kind of like, uh, kind of creep me out. But yeah, the cute, realistic little furry ones I've always loved. In fact, I'm watching Danger Mouse on Netflix because I grew up with that. And it is back on Netflix and it's like five or six seasons. So I am watching it. I am getting in tune with my childhood <laughs> favorite, favorite, favorite cartoons. So yeah, I am, I am digging that right now. So that's where I'm at, guys. And I wanted to say, I love you all. I love you all. I do. I love you all. Oh, baby bump. Someone said that. Where's the baby bump? Okay. There we are. Oh, oh yeah. There was a little, yeah, there was a, there was a little, little bit down there. <laughs> okay. Let's see. But that is the baby bump. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So that's where we're at, guys. Bye. See you next week.